Uh-huh. <laughs> I don't want that thing. The way I see it, if the prophecy's true, it's still gonna be a long time before the water can cover everything. Life is all about living in the moment. What use is there in worrying about the future all the time? We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. You should still take it. You never know when it'll come in handy. Oh, all right, fine. But thanks. It's just that... If I start moving, that means I've already given up on the life I have now. I'd really rather not. So you're the blonde traveler that everyone's been talking about. My apologies for not recognizing you earlier. Oh, a magic pocket? Seems you really thought of everything. I guess it's better to prepare for the worst and hope for the best. Thanks. Uh, please, also thank the magician on my behalf when you get the chance. this? Uh, so you also believe in the prophecy. <laughs> Keep it. I won't have any use for it. What? You mean you don't believe in the prophecy? No, no, I believe in the prophecy. But I also believe in another story. The story says that people once lived in the ocean. They were one with the ocean and couldn't live apart from it. But as time wore on, People desired to live on land and developed blood vessels, encapsulating the sea within their bodies. Thus could people set foot on land. So, if you ask me, when the water rises and takes us all, it'll be like we're going home. Oh, we hadn't heard that one before. But people can't live underwater, they'll die! You should probably still take it. <sighs> All right, I'll take it. I guess I just feel that being dissolved into the water doesn't necessarily mean death. Oh, you already handed out all of the magic pockets? Hm. That was fast. So... What did people have to say? I bet you heard some... Uh, interesting opinions. Yes, but that will change once disaster strikes. I know they'll change their minds, so it's only right to help them prepare. Is there anything else you need to do before we leave? Yes, one last thing. I have the magic pockets made by a workshop in the Court of Fontaine. Since we're out and about, I was thinking about bringing him some more materials. So, you want to collect materials? Just tell us what the materials look like and we'll help! Many hands make light work! Oh, that would be much appreciated. We'll need some Romaritime flowers. I remember seeing them near the waterfront on the east side of the harbor.
You made quick work of that. I can tell you're an experienced traveler. I've also finished collecting a few here. Maybe next time you'll feel like helping too, Lynette. No way. I'm in power saving mode today. Otherwise, I fear I may not have any energy left for the performance at the Opera House. <sighs> Fine. Though the performance is still a long way off. Now that we're finished here, we should get ready to head back to the Court of Fontaine. We're going to the Court of Fontaine before we head to the Opera House? Good. Paimon wants a tour of Fontaine's largest city and try... Wait, shh. Have you noticed that person over there? The young girl. Huh? What's wrong with her? Paimon didn't notice anything. <laughs> She's obviously a thief. Magicians and thieves practice similar methods. We divert attention and a distracted audience is one that won't discover what you're really doing. Watch her movements carefully. Oh, he's right! Shh, keep your voice down. We need to think of a way to catch her, but it seems she's very alert. Perhaps we should split up. You two can ride the lift over there and wait up top. I bet that'll be her escape route if she tries to run. All right, let's go. for a while now. Paimon wonders if Lenny caught the thief. Yeah, let's go. Are you sure that's all she took? You should check to make sure you're not missing anything else. N no, that was all. 
Oh, I can't thank you enough. I didn't notice a thing earlier. Anyway, I should be going now. Thanks again. Oh, were you returning with the thief had stolen? That's right. Pity I wasn't able to catch her. She distracted me by dropping the thing she stole on the ground. By the time I looked back, she was already gone. I saw the general direction she went, but Linny twisted his ankle, and I needed to make sure he was okay. Oh, did you get hurt, Linny? I'll be all right. It's just a twisted ankle, that's all. In fact, it's feeling better already. If you want to play at being a hero, at least try not to get hurt doing it. Imagine what would happen if you managed to derail our performance as a result. <laughs> you're right, you're right. Sorry, Lynette. <sighs> I have to admit that the thief was even more skilled than I had anticipated. But at least we were able to get the stolen items back, so it wasn't a complete failure. What a slippery little thief! Guess things turned out all right in the end, though. Lily's initiative paid off! All right, let's put this little detour behind us. We should go to the Court of Fontaine now. is an aqua bus. It allows people to travel between several key locations around Fontaine. It's pretty convenient, but the ride can become a little dull after a while. The scenery is always the same. That's why it's better to travel with friends. So you mean it's still boring even when I'm riding with you? Uh, no, that's not what I meant. It's just that, uh, well, you don't really talk that much. Besides, it doesn't really feel like a real trip when it's just the two of us. It's the same as being at home. <laughs> hmm. Whatever. Guess that's what it's like to be an older brother. <laughs> it's about time for us to leave. Let's get on board. Magician Linny and his assistant Lynette. Hello, I don't believe we've. I'm Charlotte, a reporter for the Steambird. Nice to meet you. From the Steambird, huh? We've often relied on your paper to promote our performances. It's an honor to meet you. Wait! Could that be the legendary traveler who's been making headline after headline in their journey across Tibet? Amazing! You recognize everybody almost immediately! <laughs> I wouldn't be much of a reporter if I didn't know who's who, would I? Wow, today must be my day! Who knew I would end up on the same boat as so many VIPs? Could my vision finally be showing me some favor? So, Charlotte, what do you usually report on? Well, when there isn't any breaking news, I mainly cover the trials at the Opera House. You can still manage to keep readers' attention as long as you tell things from a clever enough angle, even if it's the same old topics. For example, reporting on how a scammer once deceived vulnerable girls into relationships, or how a financial criminal was once so poor that they ate a single piece of bread for five days. Oh, that's fine and all, but what I'm really after is exclusive, sensational news pieces that could shake the country. These smaller stories are a waste of my talents. Oh, I just remembered. I've been following a case lately. Well, a series of cases, actually. You mean the serial disappearances of young women case? 
That's right. These stories are the talk of the town right now, and it's probably the most mysterious case we've ever seen. If I'm the first with a draft ready to publish when the case is finally cracked, and it's the headline story in the Steambird, oh! when that happens, I bet all the other reporters will shed tears of envy. I've already gathered all kinds of materials. I just can't wait for the truth to be revealed. So, what is the serial disappearances of young women case? You mean the culprit hasn't been found? That's right. The first missing girl case happened almost 20 years ago. And ever since, after a period of time, another girl disappears. What the cases have in common is that the girls are all of a similar age, and that they've all vanished without a trace. But the scariest part is that to this day, none of the girls have ever been found. Many suspects have been arrested over the years in connection with this case, but shortly after each arrest, another disappearance would always happen. Yes, it's possible. But either way, I believe that every case has some precise truth behind it, waiting to be exposed. Yes, I agree. And at the very least, the family of those missing girls deserves some sort of explanation. <laughs> I just imagined for a second what I would do if Lynette were to suddenly disappear. I'd pay any price to get her back, and then find a way to track down the culprit. Please don't imagine that, Linny. I really enjoyed chatting with you. Life should be full of pleasant little surprises like this. Yeah, us as well. The ride went by too quickly. Ah, oh, I have an interview to get to. I should get going before I'm late. Okay, Hyman hopes we can chat again soon, Charlotte. See ya! <laughs> Bye now. Oh, be sure to stop by and see me at the Steambird when you have time. What a tough job. Always running around and interviewing everyone? <sighs> well, where should we go now? If you don't mind, how about we stop by my home first? Besides, I still have all the materials we collected. Sure, we wouldn't mind at all. This city is so huge, Paimon wouldn't know where to start anyway. <laughs>
This is our current abode. Ah, Fremenay, your home. Where did everyone else go? I have some new friends that I would like to introduce. Oh, they all just went out a moment ago. I see. Everyone is getting busier now that Father will be returning soon. I suppose that can't be helped. Allow me to introduce you to my little brother, Fremenay. He is a phenomenal diver. Uh, hello. Nice to meet you! Paimon is Paimon, and this is the Traveler! Oh, you sound very proud to have a diver as a brother, Linny. <laughs> uh, Linny, could you come here for a moment? Hmm? What is it, Fremenay? Do you have something to tell me? Hmm. Okay, I see. Is everything all right? Oh, it's nothing. We were just discussing a little housework. Sorry for the interruption. Oh, uh, before I forget, the Traveler and I collected more materials to make magic pockets. Were you able to get any, Fremenay? Yes, I went diving and gathered lots of materials. I was about to give them to you. That's our Fremenay, always quick with the underwater work. All right, I'll take these to the workshop. Looks like rain. Oh, you're right. But wasn't it clear and sunny just a moment ago? Hmm. Fontaine's weather sure is weird. <laughs> I'm afraid that's just how it is here. It often rains on days where there are trials being held in the Opera House, but don't worry, it'll clear up soon enough. <sighs> hmm? What's wrong, Fremenay? There's a legend about the rain that I tend to believe. It's said that a dragon of water once resided in Fontaine. Though we don't know where the dragon went, every time it weeps, the skies will cloud up and pour out rain. When I was a child, my mother told me that if I wanted to go outside and play, I should yell toward the sky at the top of my lungs. Hydro Dragon! Hydro Dragon! Don't cry! then having the power to make it rain wouldn't be very unusual. Hmm. Let Paimon try something. Hydro Dragon! Hydro Dragon! Don't cry! Hmm? <laughs> Doesn't seem to be of any use. It is just a legend, after all. You know, you might be a more popular magician if you understood the concept of romanticism. Or could at least play along. <laughs> Sorry. It might be because we've never met the Hydro Dragon. Perhaps it can't be comforted by the words of strangers. Hmm. It rained for longer than I suspected. Oh, it's already getting late. Was there something? To do any? Yeah, some preparations for the show at the Opera House. I need to find a way to catch the last Aquabus of the day. On the day of the performance, just ride the Aquabus to the island of Araneus. I'll have Lynette meet you at the fountain in front of the Opera House. Oh, uh, are you leaving now? What is it, Fremenay? I'm in a hurry. Oh, I get it. You feel nervous delivering the materials for the magic pockets, is that it? Perhaps we could trouble the Traveler to help us take these materials to the Beaumont workshop and deliver them to the owner there? I'm afraid that Fremenay can be quite introverted. And the boss there tends to be pretty talkative. <laughs> Fremenay has always been a little afraid of her. No trouble at all! Don't worry, we're on the 
case. Sorry for the inconvenience. I'm quite useless when it comes to such tasks. I'll think of a way to make it up to you. <laughs> 